Is the CompTIA A plus certification worth it in 2022? Yes, it is still worth it in 2022. You should still invest your time in getting the certification because you'll be investing your time in the fundamentals. I am very fundamentals oriented when it comes to IT and anything else in life because you'll always remain relevant if you take your craft seriously and learn the fundamentals. I'll tell you what, I was on a technical interview last week. You guys probably see me post about it and it was at an MSP. I was interviewing for a role that would be very versatile. It would be a role where I'd be doing computer repair, networking stuff, a myriad of things. On the technical interview, I completely bombed the computer repair part, which is very A plus oriented. The interviewer was asking me about how to essentially troubleshoot a GPU. You can kind of get a hint that there's something wrong with the GPU if the display of a monitor doesn't come on, right? You get power to the machine and you can see that the, the backlight is lit, but there's just no video. And I can tell you that it's the GPU or the video card or whatever. It's been a while since I did anything A plus related and it showed on that interview. Is the A plus worth it in 2022? Yeah, uh, I did phenomenal on the networking stuff, but they weren't looking for a networking specialist. They were looking for a guy that's versatile, that can do computer repair, that can do networking stuff that can do a myriad, a myriad of things, right? Get your A plus in 2022. I literally just had an interview uh, where they're still emphasizing the, the fundamentals that the A plus will expose you to, right? I will also say in 2022, if you are studying for your CompTIA A plus certification, go to a class as well as studying as on your own. That's another thing the interviewer asked me because when I was getting the answers wrong um, with regard to the computer repair stuff, he was saying, you know, look, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, that's my, my Alexa right there. He said, I'm not trying to pick on you, but this is the problem with people who self-study and they, you know, they don't go to a class because they don't get to connect the concepts with the real world experience. Now, to be fair, I was studying for my A plus during the pandemic when everything was closed down and I didn't have availability to go to a class and learn these things hands on. You can see what he was saying lines up with pretty much what I talk about a lot in my videos with regard to getting hands on experience connecting the concepts with real world experience. That's why I have my Cisco lab here. Make sure when you're studying for your CompTIA A plus certification, try to get into a class. Of course, do your own self-studying, buy a desktop computer. At the time, I didn't have money to buy a desktop computer to practice all the concepts. Plus on top of that, I really didn't, the computer repair stuff is not really where I wanted to be. I knew I wanted to beeline straight to the networking side of things. So I didn't spend too much time with the A+. But nowadays, um, now that I have my CCNA, I'm doubling back to the basics. Also, I have this channel here. You guys care about A+, a lot. So we're gonna be doing a lot of the basics, such as Active Directory. I will be doing a video on that next week, so stay tuned for that. Maybe as a live stream, I'll probably premiere the video if it's not a live stream because I wanna test the engagement. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, click the little bell notification, leave a comment so that I know that this is something that you're interested in and I'll make more content around it because I'm learning just like you guys are learning. This is also your sign that the CompTIA A plus certification is worth it in 2022. Just use the CompTIA A plus certification objectives against 2022 as a backdrop and you'll see how relevant all of the material is with regard to things that are happening in 2022 with regard to IT. A plus will give you that exposure, that basic foundation, the fundamentals to understand a lot of the jargon, the lingo, the, 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 basic, the basic concepts around IT in general. I was tempted to jump straight to the network plus and the networking side of things. I'm thankful that I started with the ITF which a lot of people don't know about, but I started with the CompTIA ITF Plus 
then I jumped to the A+, plus, then I went to CCNA. Studying for the CCNA, I don't wanna say it's a, a breeze, but it was a lot easier than if I hadn't gotten my CompTIA A+, plus certification. It was a great investment of time because it saved me time while I was studying for the CCNA. I didn't have to jump back to you know Google to study up on what certain connectors are, B and C connectors, RJ45, RJ11. Um, I believe another one is RS232 or something like that. Um, there's so many things in the CCNA that's A plus related. You can kind of miss it if you just jump straight to the CCNA or Network Plus or Security Plus. And that's something I talk about on this channel a lot. If you focus on the fundamentals, you'll stay relevant for a very long time. There's always going to be a need for people to repair computers. There's always going to be a need for network engineers, no matter how, I don't know, people are being weird about this whole network engineering stuff because people are trying to say that network engineers are going to be phased out. I'm just thinking how that's possible when everything is on a network nowadays, but I don't know. Speaking of that, we're going to be doing some automation stuff. Well, we're going to be learning automation because I don't know, I don't have any clue on how to do automation. So if you're, again, if you're new to this channel, it's an adventure. It's a journey. We're going to be learning automation. I'm going to try to set up a live streaming format so that you guys can follow along with me in real time, because I think that's, that's the vibe I'm trying to create. Yeah, I'm trying to create like a, a, I want you guys to think of me as, you know, an acquaintance or a friend, right? And videos are a little bit impersonal as far as posting and editing a video because there's this kind of like time gap. So I want to do live streams real time where we can kind of like study together, learn together, you can get your computers and, you know, learn along with me if you're new to this field because I'm new. Um, just got my CCNA last month. I just got to keep on giving myself a round of applause for that because it was, it, it took a lot of effort. Just got the official cert yesterday. Got the, the, the hard copy, the real thing. So it's official, official, right? So um, A+, plus, totally worth it in 2022. And don't let nobody else tell you any differently. And the reason why they might be telling you differently is because, I don't know, it's it's very basic information that you can kind of learn, practice, and then move on to the next cert. But I really believe in the psychological importance of rewards. And these things that I have hung up on my wall, they give me, they motivate me. And they'll motivate you, right? It's kind of like, if you were to, I don't know, go to school for a certain amount of years and then you just go, okay, bye, you just drop out and you don't go to the graduation ceremony or you got your degree, but you didn't go to the ceremony. You know, I think it has a psychological impact and importance and it's good for motivation. Spent this whole time being disciplined, learning and studying for this whole period of time. You need a reward at the end of it, right? A plus is totally worth it. It gives you broad foundation. I don't really need to go into everything the A plus offers. You probably did your research on it. You just probably need a little push at this point. It, it gives you a lot of hardware fundamentals, a lot of software fundamentals, how to use an operating system, how to virtualize. It teaches you a little bit about the cloud, different cloud offerings, troubleshooting techniques, which is very, whew, relevant that was another thing that came up in this uh technical interview just pretty much how to go through the troubleshooting process which i pretty much i, I i'll be honest i really forgot because i haven't been doing too much a plus stuff i troubleshoot network things which it follows the same pattern but when i troubleshoot network things i like to use trace route i like to use ping i like to use the half split method to kind of like segment the network up and kind of isolate where the problem might be but Moving forward, we're going to be doing a lot more A plus stuff like Active Directory. And um, I don't know about the computer repair stuff. Really not too interested in that. Sorry, not sorry. But, um, you know, we're going to dive into a few more A plus related topics. So go ahead and go get that A plus.